In humans, the digestive organs are covered by a visceral peritoneum. The peritoneal cavity is lined by the parietal peritoneum. And in the peritoneal space between these two smooth membranes, a lubricating peritoneal fluid is secreted, which allows these organs to move relative to each other without blisters and adhesions developing. In addition, the visceral peritoneum can have a number of extensions, such as the greater omentum coming from the greater curvature of the stomach, the lesser omentum from the lesser curvature of the stomach, the falciform ligament attaching uh, the liver, the mesentery attaching the folds of the small intestine, and the mesocolon attaching the large intestine. These help to anchor uh, the uh, uh, parts of the digestive tract, especially the long, small intestine to the body wall, and uh, some, such as the greater omentum, can store adipose. In these images, it is evident that these extensions of the serosa are not unique to humans, but are consistently found throughout vertebrates. The intestine is attached by a mesentery, and once the intestine is uh, separated into small and large intestines, then this is recognized as a mesentery and a mesocolon. Uh, a lesser omentum attaches the stomach uh, to uh, the uh, liver and the body wall, and a greater omentum can accumulate adipose. The falciform ligament can attach uh, the liver and help to divide it into lobes. And so these are consistently found uh, in different groups of vertebrates with the extensions of the serosa in mammals um, being largely uh, comparable.